god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Today's video is sponsored by Athletic Greens by AG1. On today's episode of Cars and Cameras, Charles just picked up this full suspension, two-seater off-road go-kart from an old friend. It's been sitting for over five years, and it's been sitting here for a few months under a tarp. We don't know anything about it, but in today's episode, we're going to try to get it running and riding again because it's going to make for the perfect family vehicle for him. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Oh, we got a bird nest in there. It's been there a while. And we figure if something is wrong with this engine, this will be perfect for that Honda 600 uh, scooter engine that we have. Oh yeah. But we're gonna hope that this is gonna work as a go-kart as it is. Does it have reverse? It yes. does have reverse. I, yeah, there's a shifter. Dude, I have no idea what this thing is. I, I've never seen one like it. Well, uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's got uh, reverse. It's got Ford. It's got the uh, GY6 style engine on it. It's a and it's a 2012. So it's only 10 years old. It's got the rack and pinion on it. This is this is a pretty uh, pretty awesome go kart. But your buddy said it had been sitting for five years, right? Yes. So someone bought it, probably beat it up, and then parked it. And you can see it's just got surface rust, just on the tops. I guess where the sun beat up the paint, but. Not so too bad. Let's get this Boys, thing inside. Yeah, let's get it inside. It's cold out here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the back tires are on backwards. We didn't do that. I don't know who did that. <laughs> but I guess, in theory, they think it has more traction being in reverse. And I used to think that as a kid. And to be quite honest, it's not that way. They're designed to be, what is it? The diagonal part pointing down so it clears out in the mud. So don't flip them backwards. Man, I gotta sit in this thing. Oh. Dude, this thing's got some room in it. Yeah. We're not, I mean, we're not even like, hey, we're not even fighting for room. Hey, 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 hey. Not bad. This is a, uh, this is good. We might be exceed, exceeding the weight limit, but that's okay. Well, I don't know if we can even read. Oh, no operator under 16, 200, and 60 kilograms. Look at the dampening on these shocks, ready? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty sweet. This thing might be a ripper, boys. It might be. I'm uh, really liking what I see so far. You want your money back? We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Everything's starting to get more active with summer coming soon, and I'm trying to make sure I'm up to speed before it gets here, which brings us to today's video sponsor, Athletic Greens. AG1 by Athletic Greens is a daily supplement that has me really excited about simplifying my health routine. It has 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Like keeping the right kind of oil in your car, keeping myself in top shape is all about the long game. I've had my AG1 routine for over a month now, and I think it's been one of the easiest and best things I've done for my health. It's also a piece of cake to take with me on the go so I don't have to miss a beat. One scoop or travel packet of AG1 with eight ounces of water every day, boom, that's it. One of the things I quickly noticed about AG1 is how it supported my digestion. It helped add more structure to my morning routine, and I felt like I had more energy during the day as well. If you struggle with gut issues, you should try AG1 because it contains naturally occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process, support your metabolism, and enhance nutrient absorption. There are also 7.2 billion CFU dairy-free probiotics in AG1. So go to athleticgreens.com slash cars and cameras to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is gonna give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to Athletic Greens. Now let's get back to the video. So Charles, I'm really liking what I see here. The full cage, yeah. it's pretty, uh, pretty stout. It's got enough room for two adults. That's pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I mean, full suspension? This thing's a ripper, dude. Uh, I'm pleased with it. Yeah, so I think we ought to uh, check, check the fuel and see how bad it is. No. Check the oil on the thing. 
Uh oh. We can check for spark and uh I don't know, maybe put some fresh gas in it and see what happens. Yeah. I know one thing we gotta do. I gotta go get a battery for it. Worry. Oh yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. We need a battery. No pull start on this thing. No. Alright. Moment All right. of truth. It's, it's gonna be so bad. Wait okay, a minute. So not too rusty on the screws. Take a look. Holy oh, cow! It's dry. It's that is good news. Either that or it's in the motor. That's not such great news, but uh, the fuel tank uh, being dry, that's that's good. Maybe someone drained the fuel. If someone drained the fuel for us, that we'll... this is going to make our job easier. So next thing, let's check this oil. And this is a 150. I think it's a 150. GY6 style engine? With, yeah. There's with a reverse. ton of upgrades available for these. Oh, really? Right? I mean... They make GY sixes. Oh, they do big oh, bore yeah. kits and stuff. So we can make it like a one sixty or one seventy or something. I'm I not think sure. we ought to go all the way to an eight hundred. Eight hundred, yeah. yeah. That's. <laughs> well, we got a five eighty two under the lean to with no reverse. No. Uh, the oil is right where it needs to be. Is it a good color? Eh. Okay. Needs a, <laughs> needs a change it after needs a oil hot, change after a hot lap, right? Uh, I I would say it needs an oil change before the hot lap. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Um, how about hitting the throttle, and I'll see if we got full throttle. Okay. On this thing. It's got full throttle. Okay. I say we find a battery for it and uh, see what happens. See if it turns over, right. and then we'll add some gas to it and see what happens. Right. This could be. I'm not gonna say it. That, that, don't that, say it. That, that. I'm not gonna say <laughs> it. Don't say it. So as um, as we were getting ready to fill this thing up, I started to look over the fuel the fueling system. And I went to change this fuel filter out because I don't really know how old this one is. And I realized there was quite a bit of play in the petcock and it just looks like it's gonna be, a, it's a disaster waiting to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. That way we don't have any spillage of our fresh new gas. Okay, so this one might not leak, but we're just, I don't, I don't wanna take a chance. Yeah, it's a cheap part. Okay, so mine does not have a fuel filter on it. Ooh, but that's okay. We can put an inline one. I bet you uh, it's got the... Does that come out? It comes oh. out. Oh, it is threaded and it screws in there. right in. Okay. So let me blow this out with some brake clean, and then we'll just thread it in that one. Yeah. You threading in the new one? Yes, sir. All right. That thing's installed. Nice. Yeah. I'll get my new fuel, this... I'll get a new fuel filter okay. on there. All right, where is it at? I think it's in my pocket, yeah, here we go. One of these, there we go. All right, and there should be a direction, there it is, it's got the arrow on it. Good luck getting those fuel hoses off. Oh, look at him, look at him. It's because I wished him good luck. Uh-huh. So we were filling this thing up and we noticed that Go Power Sport sells this fuel tank and other parts for these 150s like the carburetors or the battery that we're using in this build and other odds and ends. So give them a call or check links in the description for the parts that we're using in this build and let them know Cars and Cameras sent you. So Charles, let's get uh let's get the battery installed on this thing and hit the key on this thing. I All right. Fire right up. I hope so. Either that or you just jinxed us. Well, we got oil in it. We have fuel. We can turn the fuel on. Did you turn it on? Not yet. Let's see. All right. Let's see if we fill that fuel. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna just give this a little tap just in case. You got a sticky ball or something? Well, yeah, just we don't just know. Just in case we don't know. A float. I don't know where the overflow would be, but. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, turn off, turn off. What, what's happening? We got fuel coming Oh, out. wow, it is really yeah, pouring the, out there. Where's it coming out at? The overflow over here. Okay. So the bowls, or the, the float Float is probably, probably stuck. stuck. Float's stuck. Hey, did you want to try to crank it over and see what happens? Yeah. All right. She's at idle. All right. You ready? Crank yeah. Not. Oh, oh. oh, man. Oh, well. do anything. I didn't. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, we lost.
lost the reverse signal. Uh, we lost everything. There we go. Oh, sometimes you gotta hit the brake. Harder. Oh man. might be flooded. Okay. All right, so let's pull this carburetor off and uh, open it up. It's supposed right. to be a brand new carburetor, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. We don't know if it was brand new before it was sitting or after. Boots off. You can come towards me with it. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Got to be careful of these boots. Yeah. They like to rip, which this one's got a crack in it. Oh, it does? Yeah. After some questionable hardware, there it is. Oh, right nice. There. Nice, easy plug. Yeah. Perfect. You got it? Yeah. And is that like automatic choke or something? No, that's like the fuel cut off. It won't run with it uh, unplugged. Oh. I thought we were getting fancy. Like, I mean, 70, I think that's like, what it is. Like 75 Johnson electric choke. I don't know. It'd be cool if it was a, a automatic choke. I don't know. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. But let's get to uh, dropping the bowl on this thing and see what we got. Ew. Ah, uh, we got some garbage. There's a hair in there. Is there really? How'd that get in there? There's some Debra in there. That main looks pretty disgusting. I think they're all disgusting, dude. All right, so we're gonna have to clean this thing out. Okay, deep clean or just uh, take the jets out and blow them out? I think just taking them apart and blowing them out real good. Okay. When I pulled this out, the little holes in the, I guess this would be the pilot jet, there's like gunk coming out of them. I would say that one is clogged. All right, and then, do you want to remove the uh, the, the float and needle? Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. That way we yeah, that way we got one more passage to clean out. Yeah. This carburetor was full of garbage. Gave it a quick clean out. Ike stamp of approval, so we're good. So let's uh, let's get it back in there and see if we uh, we don't have that flooding problem anymore. Uh, Airbox, drum roll, please. What's in there? Oh, y'all are gonna like Waspers? it. Waspers? Negative. I heard some dirt hit the ground when you cracked it open. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I don't doubt it oh, because that. Oh, dirt waspers. Dirt waspers. I was half right. Oh, there it is. Has anyone ever wondered what's inside these things? I cut it open on Band the saw. <laughs> it's pretty dang cool. I used to do that at my old job. Really? Yeah. I'd find them bigger than that under cars and get curious and cut them in half. Man just had way too much time on his hands. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, what what you have in here are the little uh, dirt diver larvas, larvae. Larva, uh, well, how do you pronounce it? That's fine. I, mean, I don't know. Just yeah. Tomato. And tomato. uh. What they do is they put food in for the larvas to eat as they grow up. So what you'll find is a bunch of spiders in here. It's pretty cool. And all the spiders are the exact same. No. They're different, they're they're different, different species? They're different okay. species. From what I've found, they seem I've, like in our area. I've seen black widows. Ooh, I've cool. seen jumping spiders. I've seen all kinds. What about a barking spider? Oh, definitely. I'll play with the throttle. Okay. Go ahead. Something's happening! Oh, oh, hold on. I spoke too soon. <laughs> hold on. It's okay. Fix it, Dad! Come on, dude. Don't want to go again. Sorry for shaking it, my bad. Crank it up. Crank it over. Alright. Just, just, just keep cranking it over. Don't hit the gas. 
Nope. Okay. I'm just putting the throttle. Yep. Go ahead. Big board kit. It might clear up. It, it might. might clear up. It was running pretty poorly whenever I was giving it the trottle. Yeah. Uh. And it was a uh, blowing out black smoke and stuff. Uh oh. I mean, isn't that what's in here? Maybe we ought to open up the door. Yeah. For a minute. I think the smoke is clearing up, man. Probably. Look at it. This thing might be dialed. Dare I say this? Dare I say the D word? Dialed. Well, I think we're ready to see if this thing's gonna move. Under its own power, yeah. It sounds a little sickly. Yeah. yeah. Got to put oh, some air in the tires. Hey. Pro. Oh. We got we got rewind. The thing is pretty sweet, man. Oh. That is really cool. Hold out. Let, hold up. Let me just bang up to the shop. Hold on, uh, and then hold on, let's set the parking brake. That's the quality that you're paying for right there. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we got a pork lift in there right now. Oh yeah, bro. This thing's pretty sweet. It's cool, man. It's got a four point harness. I dig it. From, I mean, that, that just tells you that there's gonna be some high horsepower stuff going on. Yeah. Strapped in there at four places. Just the back. Yeah, it's just that. That's the only one that went flat every time. Ready to go for a ride, Charles? Yeah, we gotta get my helmet. discover that this is called a candy cart it's a candy cart 200 even though it's powered by a GY6 clone 150 cc engine and it's very slow but it looks like it turns really well and it looks like it's a lot of fun so uh, we're all gonna take a lap around the cars and cameras Grand Prix to see who is the fastest and then I think at the end of the episode since Ike is such a horrible passenger we have to throw him in the uh, in uh to ride a shotgun and oh, whoever's yeah. faster between us two i'm gonna scare him yeah <laughs> yeah we gotta make him squeal so uh y'all are not funny i think we're pretty funny
everybody. <laughs> so we have the track lined up here at the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. You can see we have a couple of posts buried. And today is for testing purposes to see how dangerous that one is. Because we want to hang a sign right up here. We want to hang a sign up here that says Cars and Cameras Grand Prix, but that's a pretty dangerous post there. So, so why not test it with something with a roll cage? Why not test it with cage? something with a roll cage? <laughs> exactly. So you can get seated, Charles. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Cool. On your mark. Get set. Go. Sweet. Ready to lose, buddy? That was hilarious. I do love this go kart. This thing is cool. I have a feeling the split on our lap times is gonna be really close. Did you ever let off the uh, gas? No. Did you ever hit the brake? No. Neither did I. Nice. 
I Charles, you want to go again real quick? I think quick? I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might have done the right thing. I don't know. It no, hooks very well around the corner. A, yeah, no, it did. It did surprisingly well. I have a feeling this one's going to be really close. I say John goes last. I have Charles's time. I have Isaac's time. Okay. And you have my time. Yes. Okay, so the winner between Charles and I get to drive to try to scare Ike. I don't know if it's going to happen because it's so slow. Oh, We're going to have gosh. to try really hard, Charles. Yeah. Okay. Are we Everyone's all... saying the digit at the same time. Okay. First digit, one, two, three, one. one. That's good news. Second digit, one, two, three, zero. zero. Oh! Okay. Third digit, one, two, three, Six. eight. Six. Nine. Wait, Six. who's got mine? Uh, I have Charles's. Yeah. I'm the slowest? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You did a 109.3. John did a 1066. Charles did a 108.93. Oh. We should up. we should load like 40 pounds into mine and Charles's. To, cause that would actually be a good uh Cause, good Especially because it doesn't have any stinging power. Yeah. We can do it if you guys want. So out of the pure, like... Wondering. Yeah, of science. Science. You know. We're right going to... now, I'm at 140... Eight one forty nine. One forty nine. Yep. All right. <laughs> one sixty two. All right. Drum drum roll, please. Jesus. <laughs> you want to go to Subway for dinner? Look at it. Scale's broken. Don't worry about it. Two hundred and seven pounds. Right after we filmed that last bit, we decided what would happen if we threw 50 pounds of dead weight to make all the driver's weight equal. Well, we have some concrete in the back of the truck. We're going to throw a bag in there, and I think Charles and I are going to go again to see how much it impacts our lap time. Because Ike is about 50 to 60 pounds heavier than both of us. Oh, my God. There we go. All right, so... You are you really going to buckle it in? Yeah, yeah we're going to buckle it in. I, that is hilarious. I buckle in my to-go food. Have you ever had? Have you ever had your food go in the floorboard of your car? Oh, it hurts. It's so bad. All right, on my mark, get set, go. What do you mean, let you try? Let me try. What did I do it Wait, in? so you're going to try it with the 50 pounds or without? <laughs> no, without. Okay. What did I do okay. it in? 107. 40. 40. Okay. So it added I slowed a down second. a second-ish. Yeah. 107.40. So your weight advantage actually does do something. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to scare Ike in this because it doesn't have enough horsepower. Good. So we're just going to do one lap and call it a day. All right. You ready? Yep. And the timer's still set up? Yeah. yeah cool. Let's see what out. happens when there's oh boy. 380 pounds of man in this thing. Oh! <laughs> 
my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> oh, wow. Are you all okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, for they, sure. It looks like someone beat this side on with a hammer. Whoa. Oh, this one's been welded. Oh, oh I bet you this one did the same thing. That's why it wobbles. That could be it. Oh, that's good So, so basically, you, you get it <laughs> off of the axle and you weld it back in the rim. Oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to scare you. There's no the... horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, all right, you know that corner at the bottom of the hill? It, start, it was it, drifting it started out, drifting and, it, and I'm it kept drifting. I'm like, like thinking from there to here. It's like like doing this weird thing. I thought the tire went flat. I thought we popped the tire. <laughs> and I can't I was yeah, you got me screaming because I was like, don't do it, don't do it! Because I thought we were gonna totally eat it, dude. <laughs> Cause the way this thing was slinging around, if you would have made that sharp turn around them bales, like uh, real, like flicking it, yeah, yeah. we would have probably flipped I it. I know, bud, I know. Do a hot lap like this? Yeah. <laughs> so we had an awesome day today out at the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. We sent it. We bent it and we're mending it. So that's it for this video, guys. Hey, make sure you go to our website, cars-cameras.com. Get yourself a t-shirt, a hat, a hoodie. Well, we don't have hoodies anymore. <laughs> so anyhow, okay. yeah. Check us out anyway. Yeah. So yeah, we sent it a little bit too hard today, but hey, that's what we like to do. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all later. How's it looking, buddy? <laughs> it's looking. <Yeah. laughs> oh boy. Well, there's a barking spider right now. Here come the dirt divers, dirt oh, waspers. Okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Act your shoe size. So, like. uh...